हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर रवि सिकेनिम कंसर्न एपलेप्टोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम एस्टर मिम्स कैलिकट टुडे आई एम हियर टू गिव सम बीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट सीजर एपलेप्सी सो फर्स्ट कमिंग टू वॉट इज एपलेप्सी एंड वॉट इज सीजर सो टू सिंप्लीफाई थिंग्स एपलेप्सी इज अ डिजीज एंड सीजर इज अ सिम्टम सो एपलेप्सी इज अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल डिजीज वेर पेशेंट हैज रिकरेंट सीजर्स so when a patient has two or more episode of seizures we label him to have epilepsy so in seizures in simple things what happens is like in something like a short circuitry happening in the brain so in the normally in the brain cells the nerve cells keep on firing but when there is sudden short circuitry resulting in abnormal firing of these nerve cells it causes the brain to dysfunction and the patient can have seizure symptoms which can be of varying types so some patients commonly have jerking of the limbs they fall down they can have tongue bite they can have eyes going upwards they can have jerking of the limbs salivation from the mouth etc other patients can manifest other ways like they can have some people have loss of memory some people have change in behavior some people have abnormal feeling of one part of the body some people have visual disturbances etc so the seizure symptoms can vary it depends on where in the brain the short circuitry starts and where it spreads so when a patient has two or more such episodes we will able to have him have to have epilepsy or some some instances if there is single episode and family history is there like family history of epilepsy is there then even after the first episode we can call the patient to have epilepsy so coming to what are types of seizures the seizures in general are of two types focal seizures and generalized seizures so focal seizure the old term is partial seizures in this the short circuitry starts in a small area of the brain and over time it can spread to the other area of the brain on the same side of the brain or opposite side of the brain and generalized seizure this starts simultaneously in both side of the brain together and spreads rapidly resulting in a patient have full blown seizure so in general the patients who have a focal seizure the seizure is a of a minor type and the patient has symptoms depending on from where the, in the brain it starts like brain has various lobes known as the frontal temporal occipital parietal lobe so each lobe subserves different function so from where in the brain this seizure to starts the patient symptoms can vary like they can have jerking they can have memory issues they can have visual issues or they can have sensory issues so this is seen in focal seizures a generalized seizures because it spreads simultaneously in both part of the brain so the patient has commonly they lose consciousness and sometimes they have jerking of the limbs and they have uprolling of eyes tongue bite and sometimes they involuntarily pass urine and stools so these are the various uh, seizure types and the manifestation so coming to diagnosis of epilepsy so for epilepsy basically first and foremost is a clinical diagnosis uh, so uh, we uh, the important thing here is that sometimes majority of the time the patient don't remember what is happening so we depend on the history given by the patient's family members or caretakers uh, to reach a diagnosis and nowadays with the advent of mobile phones we recommend the caretakers to take a video shooting of from the mobile camera so that we exactly get a picture regarding what patient is having so in general uh, apart from the once the diagnosis is suspected to confirm it we need to do some test so basic test which include our brain scan and other is a test known as the eeg so the brain scan recommended is mri brain in certain places where mri is not feasible we can do a ct scan but ideally for epilepsy mri brain is mandatory so mri brain picks helps to pick up whether some brain any abnormalities there like a brain has a issue which may potentially be causing seizures and after that the second test which recommend is a eeg eeg is like a brain graph where we connect wires on the patient's head and try to record the electrical activities uh, which are abnormal so this eeg helps in first of all confirming diagnosis of epilepsy and also it helps to classify regarding what uh, seizure type patient has whether it's a focal seizure or generalized seizures so by after doing this two test basically they are they help in the diagnosis of epilepsy and based on this uh, we can decide regarding what treatment to be given